Well, I think, um, you know, when we first got together to talk about the idea, I think it was six years ago or something, yeah. um, or to see whether we had an idea, a good idea to um, tell uh, in, in the monster world, um, we thought about uh, Mike and Sully's relationship. And we thought about the best way to kind of delve in to their relationship would be to go backwards and to see who they were when they first met and how that friendship was formed. And so uh, that's where the idea of going backwards and doing a prequel came from. Um, and then we thought about yeah, the college back to stuff college of it came of, out of yeah. that too, which yeah. we we just thought was too <laughs> ripe an environment. Uh, and uh, and that awesome. led to also the story of Mike, which I think was the thing that got us most excited about going back, was to tell a story about uh, Mike wanting to be a scare and not necessarily getting that dream. We felt like we hadn't seen many movies that had dealt with working really hard and still not getting what you want. And yes, it's something so many of us went through. Right. Uh, that was really what, what prompted us to, to go back. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the pressure is always on, you know, especially at, at Pixar. We have, we try to keep the bar pretty high. Um, but there's also a ton of support. Um, and we have a really amazing group of, of directors and, and uh, kind of brain trust folks, the, the leaders of the studio, who um, are really great about collaborating and coming in and, and, and helping you if you get stuck in a, in a moment or in a story point or in design or yeah. something like that. And so. they were also good. I mean, Pete Docter, the original filmmaker, was involved in the movie, yeah. and he was good about giving us permission to change the characters right. because uh, as much as we wanted them to be familiar, and, and we feel that they still are, to go back in time, we were all so different when we were younger. And, yeah. and to really make this a movie about seeing these characters change and change each other, uh, we had to make big changes. And so Pete was really good about um, inspiring us and encouraging us to, to break the mold a little bit. Right. And I, I'm sure there was a little hesitation in, in, you know, I mean, Sully at the beginning of the film, he's kind of a jerk. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but we loved that. We were like, well, good. You know, we want to see how he changed. And uh, so, yeah, there's always, again, there's always that little bit of nerves, but I think that's a good thing. I think yeah. that's when we're kind of barking up the right tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the, the pressure is always on, you know, especially at, at Pixar. We have, we try to keep the bar pretty high. Um, but there's also a ton of support. Um, and we have a really amazing group of, of directors and, and uh, kind of brain trust folks, the, the leaders of the studio, who um, are really great about collaborating and coming in and, and, and helping you if you get stuck in a, in a moment or in a story point or in design or yeah. something like that. And so. they were also good. I mean, Pete Docter, the original filmmaker, was involved in the movie yeah. and he was good about giving us permission to change the characters right. because uh, as much as we wanted them to be familiar and, and we feel that they still are, to go back in time, we were all so different when we were younger. And, yeah. and to really make this a movie about seeing these characters change and change each other, uh, we had to make big changes. And so Pete was really good about um, inspiring us and encouraging us to, to break the mold a little bit. Right. And I, I'm sure there was a little hesitation in, in, you know, I mean, Sully at the beginning of the film, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> and, uh, but we loved that. We were like, well, good. You know, we want to see how he changed. And uh, so, yeah, there's always, again, there's always that little bit of nerves, but I think that's a good thing. I think yeah. that's when we're kind of barking up the right tree. <laughs> I think, you know, in the, the, the scene you're referring to in particular, I think we were just trying to go for all the classic tropes of a horror yeah, movie yeah, and to yeah. see uh, how the guys would use those. Although the one we didn't do, we never threw a cat at anyone. There should have been a cat <laughs> jumping out at some point at one of the rangers. We figured it's the world of monsters, you know, we've got to have these sort of, they live in a horror movie, and then and then also seeing the reverse horror movie when they go into the human the world. Human world, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm starting to doubt my abilities to be a scare. I think I would have to be more cerebral or something, or use my right. psychological skills. No, yeah, I'd, I'd need some intense coaching. I think. Yes.